the shooting of four people in a Richmond neighborhood. Gunfire rang out last night, and right now, police are trying to track down the two men responsible for the drive-by shooting and injuring the victims. Our Derek Thomas is in Richmond and joins us now with the very latest on this. Derek? Police are looking for two suspects. They don't have a good description of them because they never got out of the car. Nevertheless, they want them off the streets. Remnants of yellow police tape is scattered on the street near the shooting that occurred at the intersection of North 15th and H Streets. Four men were shot. Police say they were taken to Reed Hospital. One had to undergo surgery. The other were treated for injuries described as non-life-threatening. The victims are 33-year-old Frank Deloney, 26-year-old Maurice Boatman, 23-year-old Terry Johnson, and 34-year-old Treston Bennett. Bennett's brother described what happened. Car, black car pulled up, and uh, they uh, said he shot about 12 times at him. And he hit four of them. And he got shot in the leg? Yeah. And what did he think of that? I think it's messed up because it ain't, it ain't like when we was kids. We fought with our hands. Now it's all about the, the guns and stuff. So something needs to be done. I don't think it's cool. Police actually recovered 15 shell casings that they believe were fired from a semi automatic handgun. Tashi Oliver is Bennett's niece. Uh, no, he doesn't know who shot him. He doesn't know. Does he know why they shot him? No, he don't know why neither. Police do not have any suspects in mind nor a motive. But they are motivated to solve this case. This is highly unusual and certainly not acceptable from our viewpoint as, uh, um, you know, keeper of the city and keeping people safe. We want to be able to um, make sure that we bring this to a conclusion so that everyone can rest assured that Richmond is a safe community. Calmas has returned to this neighborhood. Neighbors I talk to hope it remains that way. Live in Richmond, Derek Thomas, RTV6.